Hello everyone and uh, good afternoon from Indonesia. I hope you guys are doing great and maybe waiting patiently for the result. And some of you are very excited because you have been through the process and did interview and uh, attend the examination as well. So finally the wait is over and uh, the result will be announced um, on 10 June which is tomorrow. Uh, I don't have the exact um, data about who is selected, who is not right now. But I'm going to give you um, a kind of a small experience speech that I have spent in Indonesia because uh, I am about to graduate and will go back to my country on uh, July last week. So it was a great experience. I was selected in 2021 and now the story here is finished but just for Indonesia. My journey continues for my PhD and uh, I choose another countries and different universities to achieve my dreams over there but spending two years and half around three years it was a wonderful experience uh, engaged with a lot of amazing people Indonesian and international and uh, also visited a lot of unique places like wonderful places in Indonesia you can check out my Instagram or my some of my YouTube videos to see how wonderful it is so these two years three years gave me a lot of not just educational knowledge but uh, it's gave me networks and uh, a lot of experience which is now helping me out with my research and my further PhD education so I will congratulate to those who will get selected and uh, because they achieve they work hard for it so many many congratulations and uh, for those who didn't achieve uh, you don't have to lose the hope because you are almost there because getting shortlisted and went through the whole process uh, you're also one of the uh, best candidate but the point is that um, because seats are limited they have to take the decision and they, it is a hard decision to take so maybe inshallah next year or maybe some opportunity in another country and uh, there might be some news like for example some sh students might be shortlisted so um, uh, they might have a chance to get selected because previous year as well some student reject the scholarship or they didn't respond on time so the students who were in short list reserve list they got selected automatically for that so don't lose hope so um, just the closing of the video um, rejections are the part of selection process and uh, it was not easy for me as well that I applied on the first stage and I got selected. No, I have been through a lot of rejections. Even right now, uh, for my PhD studies, I even went until the final stages, but I did got rejections. But this is part of a process and it's make you strong. When the next time you strike, it will be more powerful. So I encourage you not to lose hope and keep trying try try again and you will get it soon because when you learn a lot of things and you are almost there but when you lose hope you have to start from the zero so rather leaving it keep it continue and you are almost there you will get a far better place than this so um thank you guys for having me right now and uh, see you maybe in the future next videos maybe one of you will be here sitting and helping the future students for next and next years so thank you guys and uh, good luck with your life missions see you soon in the next video